We're going to cover the 18 sounds of the letters M, N, P, and Q. M says M, mm, like in man and map. If you have an M followed by a B, the B is often silent, like in comb, thumb, or crumb. However, if you take one of these words and add a suffix to it, the B generally is not silent anymore, like in crumble or thimble. Likewise, when you have M and N together, the N is often silent, like in column, autumn, or condemn. But if you add suffixes, the N is no longer silent, like in condemnation or autumnal. N says N, like nest and nice. If you have a G and an N together, the G is often silent, like in gnome or gnaw or sign. However, if you start adding Latin suffixes to the word, the G says G again, like in signal or malignant. When you have K and N together, the K is silent, like in no, knob, knack, knife, and knot. Notice that these are all used at the beginning of a word. NG together has the sound ng, like in ring, long, song, or the suffix ing. If you have an N before a hard C sound of k, usually spelled with a K, or a hard G sound, because the N is hard to say before that, it typically sounds more like ink, like sink zinc, tangle, anger, or finger. If you have N in a GE, meaning it's a soft G sound of J rather than a hard G sound like an anger, finger, or tangle, then you wind up with a word like range. Notice here the ng sound disappears and it's just range and N and then the GE together say J, angel, orange, danger, or fringe. So if you have NGE, then the N makes its normal sound. End before a K or a hard C or a hard G, then it's more of the ng sound. The letter P by itself or with the blends PR and PL just says P like in pig, complete, or prey. Usually with the blends, the, these consonants stay together in the same syllable. However, there are some words where they split up, like in represent and diploma. If you don't understand why this rule is important to understand, be sure to watch my syllable division boot camp rule four about dividing before or after blends. At the beginning of a word, if you have PS, PN, or PT, the P is silent, like in the words psalm, pneumatic, pterodactyl, psyche, or pneumonia. P and H together have the F sound, like in photo, graph, and lymph. In English words, there is always a U after a Q. There are very few exceptions. Together, these letters make the sound qu, like in queen, quite, liquid, and equal. In foreign words, which are generally French, the QU says k, like in the word mosque, torque, critique, and technique. Notice in these words, the U and E at the end are all silent. Mosquito is not French, so there are no silent letters. I hope you found this helpful. Please feel free to leave a comment or make requests or ask any questions. And be sure to check out the videos in my Syllable Division Boot Camp to learn more about dividing before and after blends and how to read long words.